Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on isometric projection where we have been given the front view and the left hand side view. We have to draw its three dimensional view. First we will calculate the total three sides of this figure. So the width of the figure in the front view is 80, length is 100 and the height is 70. Now starting with the figure first we will draw the axis. Now this side will be the front view. So front view here and on the other side will be the left hand side view. So its projection is on the right side which is given in the question. So for drawing the axis first we will draw the baseline. We will mark a point O on this that will be the vertex. So two lines here. So I will mark the point O here. From here we will draw the three angles that is 30 degree, 30 degree and 90 degree. So using the protractor 30 degree, 90 degree and 30 degree. We will draw lines through it. So as discussed earlier, so front view, this side will be the front view. Its width is 80, so marking a point 80 on it. Here we will have the left hand side view. Its dimension width is 100, so marking a point of 100 on this line. And the height of the figure is 70. So marking a 70 on this line. So as we have marked the three dimensions, now we will draw the rectangular box using these three lines. So the rectangular box will help you to draw the three dimensional figure inside itself. So check the properly. The box should be proper of the dimensions. Now starting with the figure. We will start with the front view. A front view here. So the point O we will mark it so here will be the point O it must have been given in the question itself and here will be the point O so now from point O this is the front view and it has a straight dark line till the end so I am drawing a straight dark line now from this point can see there is a slant line like this so from front view it this part will be the slant so we'll draw the end part so that will get the slant part so here you can see at the end for that we'll mark the center point of this as the slant part is at a width of 40 now it is attached till this point this dimension is 25 so here we will mark a dark line of 25. So dark line of 25. This is the end part of the topmost part. Now we have the slant line. Again we have the slant line over here which you can see in the question. From here the slant line it is attached. It is not attached till the end. As I am showing it right now, it is not attached till this. It is attached at a distance of 40 from this point. So we will mark a dark line of 40 here. Mark a dark line of 40. As you can see, the slant line is attached from this point till this point. So we can mark the dark line. So this is how we get the slant line. Now next, here also you can see, you have one more slant line. The width and the height of that slant line is 15 millimeters. It is given. So first, we will mark the distance of 15 millimeter from here. Mark the point and from that point, we will draw a light projection line downward and we will mark a height of 15 millimeter. So draw this light as this is just the projection line. So from here also, we will mark a point below of 15 millimeter. Now this will directly join here. So this is how the slant line is created here. So this is the slant part from the left hand side view. Now next this is straight joined till the slant line 
so we have to draw this look i am drawing it so this part is bit tricky part you have to think so first i am drawing a light line from here now the slant line it is there and it is touching till this so this is the other slant line this part so it is from here we have already marked the point the center point first you have marked so from here we will join till this line which we have drawn join this dark so this is the other slant line we have gone now from here we will join till the intersection of this two points and lightly we have drawn so we'll join it at the intersection so this is the slant line other slant line join this join this line and the tricky part is done so this is the view from the front side this is from the left hand side view this part is this now next this height is not given we can calculate this is 70 this is 50 and the upper it is given 15 so this part is 5 so it is at a height of 5 at the bottom so from here distance of 5 we have drawn light line then we'll mark this is of 5 millimeter make it dark again it has this straight line the width is 30 so from here we'll draw a light line and then we'll make a dark line of 30 millimeter again we have the slant line now we'll draw the bottom part here also we have the slant line now starting from the bottom you can see from this end we have a height of 10 millimeter above so making it 10 millimeter above dark then this is total slant part now this slant line doesn't touch at this point it again has a distance of 20 millimeter so from this point we'll draw a light line and we'll mark a dark line of 20 millimeter so dark line of 20 millimeter now from this end we can directly join this point and this is how we get the slant line then you have this rectangular box at the bottom the width of 60 the dimension is given so from here I am marking the dimension of 60 millimeter dark line then taking the same dimension here this height will be 10 millimeter joining this will give you the rectangular box as you can see in the left hand side view here a final touch so this line here we have to create a rectangular box so using the dimension so this we have to think this how it will form as the top view is not given only the side views are given this line ignore this line just the now this line we have drawn dark this box is done now the final touches so this slant line is this this width is this now finally this part the inside also it has a rectangular box as you can see in the front view so drawing this projecting this inward this also inward and from taking this as a reference line from here we will draw a dark line touching this point so you can see it in the front view we have a rectangular box over here making this dark so this part is done you can see it in the front view we have this part joining this and with this line joining we are totally done with the figure now after drawing this figure we can just mark the dimensions whatever dimensions are given we will mark it on this figure just at the end 
see whether the front view and the side view are proper with the three dimensional figure. Just look at the three dimensional figure and then recheck the front view and the left hand side view that is easy to make. So mark all the dimensions properly. At the end don't forget to mark the front view with the direction of arrow X and with this we are totally done with the figure. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, any queries, let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.